to what extent is this a, a total curveball? I mean, the futures market uh, suggesting that, that this wasn't expected by investors if, if we've got uh, NVIDIA down 5%, but, but was there some level uh, of people expecting this to happen? Fully anticipated, and if anything, uh, a bit late to the game. Uh, we start the beginning of this back in 2017 when uh, Huawei ZTE were added to the entities list and um, were restricted from accessing a lot of core inputs, core, core components that they needed for their hardware. Um, most of us in the venture ecosystem in China for the last five, six years have been investing directly into this theme. So investing into high-end graphic processors, AI accelerators, specifically with the expectation that American uh, chips will be, uh, access will be cut to China. And now we're seeing not only chip access, but also those uh, high high-end processing machines and even software to design future chips uh, being restricted into China. Cyrus, uh, how good is China's innovation in this area? Will, will this really hurt their interests? Yeah, I, I, I agree with what Ben said, that this, this, this was seen. The, the real catalyst uh, for this was Nancy Pelosi uh, taking a trip to Taiwan uh, and then the military exercises that, uh, that China led surrounding Taiwan later on. In terms of China's innovation in, in Taiwan, if you look at the semis industry to, uh, in, in total, Chinese companies don't really feature uh, on that list. They are behind in, in semiconductor technology. The two biggest companies in semis by far are NVIDIA, which is the world's leading AI chip designer and TSMC, which makes worse most of the world's chips, especially uh, high-end chips like uh, AI chips. Uh, and the whole issue here is around uh, China's uh, determination uh, to have a one nation in terms of uh, a Taiwan. They've said very clearly uh, in public that they are willing to use force to unify uh, Taiwan, and that's what the U.S. Uh, is worried about. It's not the 1990s anymore where the U.S. was the sole military superpower. It now has a challenge uh, that is equal or almost equal uh, uh, to the U.S. We don't know uh, which one of those is correct because they've never had a war for some time. But the Ukraine war gives some inkling as to you know what the West can do uh, if mm -hmm. another conflict takes place. Ben, could this backfire and incentivize China to to be better at innovation in the space, or are they already trying that that anyway? So this actually does damage them. Uh, I believe this is akin to providing your battle plan to your competitor uh, years in advance. We're obviously not in a hot war environment today, but by cutting access to these core inputs and, and having done so now for almost the last half decade, uh, that threat illuminated to the Chinese all of the vulnerabilities in their technological ecosystem. Uh, they have spent the last five years in overdrive. And uh, to all the doubters and naysayers out there that said that China has not been able to develop a native chip industry and is lagging far behind, just at a report two days ago verified that SMIC took just two years to achieve this kind of quantum leap from 14 nanometer to uh, to seven nanometer, much fast chips, much faster than TSMC or, or Samsung. So um, this is clearly bearing fruit for the Chinese who are developing a standalone um, moated ecosystem that builds, uh, weans itself off dependency on US core inputs, very much to American detriment because 30% of all American uh, chip revenues come from China. Uh, Cyrus, in terms of uh, what, what to do with these stocks, both obviously trading down to today, um, do, do you think that that's legitimate? Does the China demand piece make a big difference to them? And, and added to that question, what about if a, a big recession hits? Do you think uh, people are overly bullish about chip demand? Uh, I think think chip technology, especially AI chip technology, is fundamental to all technology and all industries. Almost all the products, you know, just the products that we're using today have some kind of chips on them. And AI, of course, is the future. And AI has got military uses and civilian uses. So I think for civilian uses, those kind of chips will still be available. The loss of China as a, mar uh, as a market will be a massive hit. But I think the global growth uh, of the AI chip market will be enough to get NVIDIA and AMD back on track, you know, in, in time.